Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Daisy and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would show you a little bit of my morning routine. I'm going to be showing you a couple of things today. So if you're interested in gardening and um, indoor gardening, balcony gardening, <laughs> small indoor apartment gardening, things like that, then just stay tuned. So I'm just going to kind of run through this because I do have to leave soon but I do have a couple of things to do and I like to do my things in the morning just because if I have any watering to do I like to do it in the morning so that you know throughout the day um, the plant absorbs that and if you water at night there's more of a chance that your plants will get like root rot um, so something to keep in mind and my dog will be roaming in the back hey back up go over here <laughs> smelling my plants okay so the first thing that I wanted to show you, and I'm still in my PJ, so excuse me for that. But the first thing that I need to do um, is transplant these gorgeous zucchini that I have. Um, as you can see, they're getting very big and I only put about soil up to here. So I can imagine that they have a pretty good root system already established. And I did water these, um, I think like two days ago, so the soil is still kind of wet. Um, typically, you'd want to dry, want to wait until they dry, but um, I just been lagging it and not getting around to it. So um, I'm going to be using these containers that I got at Daiso. Daiso, I don't know. This cost me three dollars, and I got two of them, one for each plant. Today, I'm just going to be doing one. And it does have drainage holes at the bottom, which is absolutely necessary. Um, for these, I have a mixture of perlite, which does help with drainage. But, you know, you still want to make sure that if you have plants or vegetables in containers, that they do have drainage holes so that there's less of a chance that your plants get root rot. So I'm just going to be pouring some of my already mixed soil. This is from Fox really high in um, nutrients. So this is what I used originally for the container, so the plant is already used to this soil mixture. Sorry, let me angle the camera down. I filled it up about halfway as you can see and now I'm just going to carefully pretty much scoop the plant out of here um, I don't think the roots touched so I'm just going to kind of cut in here and pull it out and see how it looks oh wow I was not expecting that let's see if I can turn it over Look at those roots. Wow. I am very impressed. And you know what? There's a lot of perlite down there. And I think that's why they're doing so good because they're very well ventilated, which is why I was saying perlite is important. So, wow, I'm very pleased. Okay, I'm just going to set this in here. And then, um, let's see if I can use use this little cup to just fill in actually just with my hands to fill in the rest and I am only doing one because I don't have enough soil for both of them but I do need to do the other one too and just make sure and cover the roots as I mentioned in my last video when I was repotting my monstera deliciosa, you want to make sure that none of the roots are exposed so that insects don't get to them. So I'm almost done with this and just stay 
tuned if you want to see a few other things that I'm doing. You can kind of take a peek back here at this cilan I mean, um, celery. So I really just kind of went for it <laughs> as far as this whole planting thing. I was really scared at first to put my hands in dirt and try and grow plants because it's a living thing and you have to care for it. But, you know, just like this, when you see that it starts to outgrow its container, then the plant kind of lets you know, like, hey, it's time. <laughs> so, it's not too hard. Um, so then the last thing you want to do, this one is kind of loose, but I think as it grows, the stem will get stronger. But in order to compact the soil, the soil is kind of moist, so I'm not going to water it too much, but just to show you, you would actually water the container thoroughly. So just water, 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 water until the soil, I mean, uh, until the water runs through the drainage holes on the bottom. So a lot of people just like pour a cup of water and they consider that watering their plant. That is absolutely wrong. Um, so just water it thoroughly. I'm just going to add a little bit just because, like I said, it was wet. But you want to make sure that the water runs through. So there you go. That is how you transplant or repot or whatever you want to call it um, a zucchini. So hopefully it'll be happy in here. And then if it does start to outgrow this, well then, you know, I have to repot it again. But I think it'll be good for now. Um, I'll just leave this in here so hopefully it has more space on its own. I'll probably just raise it a little bit um, and leave this one in here actually because it's doing pretty good. So the other thing I wanted to quickly show you guys is my propagation. And I'm so excited about these propagations because I was really bummed out. Oops. Sorry, I always make a mess as far as like dirt and stuff, but it's okay. Um, can you hear me? Ah, I hope you can hear me because the volume was down. Okay, um, I was really bummed out in the beginning because my prop succulent propagations would not like propagate. They wouldn't, you know, they'd rot or die or dry out or something. But these have been doing really, really good. So let me just get up close and show you guys but all of these I guess you can say I have like a hundred percent success rate <laughs> so I'll just pull one of these out just to show you each of these little leaves that I put in here are growing one new plant so some of them just have roots like this one it only has roots for now but it is growing like a little bud at the end and currently I'm propagating the same um, type of succulent but I'm doing it um, with air just air propagating which means you just leave it out and the theory is that each leaf has enough nutrients and water that it needs to grow a whole new plant and establish a whole new root system so that's the other cool thing that I'm doing or that I'm excited about. Um, oh, and just real quickly, oh wait, did I put them inside already? Oops. Um, I got some Mother's Day things, but I'll just show you guys my little succulent station. Sorry, hold on. Bad angle. Let me take off my gardening gloves. Oh, I also was thinking of planting some Venus flytraps. Um, we're go me and my husband are going to grow some Venus flytrap from seed. So maybe I'll film that process. But for now, let me just show you guys my succulent station. So this is my little balcony area. Um, so this one is called the Mexican firecracker. I got this for Mother's Day from my mom. It's super pretty. I love the color and it's so cool because it's like fuzzy. It reminded me like of a cactus or something. This is my jade plant. I originally had this plant and it almost died and I had to rescue it. So I cut back a lot, but it's doing good. This my mom gave me a little 
prickly pear cactus, punzia cactus. This is a cow and coey. It's called the flaming kitty, and my grandma gave me this for Mother's Day. This is just a cutting that I have of a either it's agave or aloe. I'm not sure. I have some cilantro back there that I grew from a grocery store bought cilantro and this my husband gave me it's called a uh, flaming Katie I don't know that's a I don't know oh god I forgot it's a variegated oh god I forgot the name of it but my husband gave me that and then this is a jalapeno plant that I have and this is a um, uh, mint yerba buena <laughs> so oh I forgot about these um these are some more succulents that I brought out because as you can see they were getting kind of leggy so those are the leaves that I'm propagating it's from this plant and then here I just have some more cow and coey babies oh and my string of pearls I have two of these string of pearls down here and then more i have another succulent like this one and then this is just a few other ones so that is my plant video for the day i hope you guys enjoy these types of videos i do have a lot more plants like a lot more plants so if you guys are interested in that i'll just show you a quick sneak peek <laughs> so if you guys want to see my plants in like a full house plant tour definitely let me know I do want to film that but I need help so maybe I'll tell my husband if I get enough comments down below so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned something if you have any questions go ahead and leave them down in the comments down below and like this video if you did and subscribe if you haven't already so that you can keep up with my next video all right, guys, my name is Daisy once again. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye, see you in the next video.